Police officers having 16 cult-like behaviors and characteristics. One, authoritarian leadership. Police officers may view themselves as the ultimate authority in their community and have a sense of superiority or elitism over civilians or non-police to make life-changing decisions over others against their will. Two, blind obedience. Officers are expected to follow orders without question and may be punished for questioning their authority. They are expected to follow orders without question, even if those orders violate their own sense of morality similar to the blind obedience required in many cults. 3. Groupthink. Police officers adhere to a brotherhood mentality that discourages individuality and independent thinking. The pressure to conform to the beliefs and actions of the police force can result in groupthink, a phenomenon where individual critical thinking is suppressed in favor of group cohesion. 4. Black and white thinking. Officers may view the world as good versus evil and see anyone who opposes them as the enemy. The police force often views the world in black and white terms, with us being the righteous protectors and them being the enemy, identical to the dualistic thinking of cults. 5. Loyalty to the group over individuals. Police officers prioritize the needs of the department and their fellow officers over the needs of the community or individual citizens. 6. Secrecy. Police officers operate under a code of silence and cover up illegal or unethical behavior by fellow officers. They have their own secret language, terminology, and symbols that are unique to the group and may be used to reinforce the group's identity corresponding to how cults often have their own language and symbols. 7. Intimidation and Fear Tactics Officers will use their authority to intimidate and scare citizens into compliance. By use of force, they will escalate any situation to do harm to auditors and non-believers who do not cooperate or comply with their cult beliefs. 8. Us versus them mentality. Officers view themselves as warriors and the public as the enemy, leading to an us versus them mentality. The police force can develop an us versus them mentality where they view the public as the enemy and become defensive or hostile towards any perceived threats similar to the enemy mentality often found in cults. 9. Resistance to outside information. Police officers may reject information or criticism from outside sources, including members of the community or outside agencies. They may experience intense group bonding through shared experiences with a perceived purpose and have a strong sense of community and belonging to their cult. 10. Distorted reality. Officers may have a skewed perception of reality and see their actions as justified even when they may be illegal and harmful to individuals or to society as a whole. 11. Indoctrination. Police officers are often subjected to intense training and indoctrination to ensure conformity to the culture and beliefs of the police force, similar to the indoctrination techniques used in cults. Police officers are required to undergo extensive indoctrination and training, which can include psychological manipulation and tactics used in cults. 12. Separation from society. The police force has become a separate entity from society, with their own language, rules, and customs, similar to the isolation and separation from mainstream society often found in cults. They experience a strong sense of loyalty and allegiance to the police force just as cult members feel a strong sense of loyalty and allegiance to their cult. 13. Loyalty to the Group Police officers are expected to prioritize loyalty to the police force above all else, even at the expense of personal beliefs and relationships. 14. Control of Information The police force may control the flow of information to its members, filtering out any dissenting opinions or criticisms. Using these control tactics, they may be discouraged from questioning their authority or challenging the status quo within the police force, similar to how cult members are discouraged from questioning their leader or beliefs of a cult. 15. Punishment and shunning. Police officers who deviate from the group's beliefs or actions may face punishment or shunning, similar to the disciplinary actions taken against dissenters in cults. 
They may experience a sense of isolation or separation from society, matching to how cult members are isolated from their family and friends outside of their cult. 16. Emotional Manipulation Police officers may be subject to emotional manipulation tactics such as guilt, fear, or shame to ensure conformity to the group's beliefs, values, ideology, and actions, indistinguishable to the emotional manipulation used in cults.